This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So we're talking about Freddie Gibbs was trolling Jim Jones today, saying he's live from New York, saying he's in New York, and they're not going to do anything because Jim Jones has been laughing whenever Freddie Gibbs said, you know, the Freddie Gibbs topic comes up of him, like, messing him up or this. He's like, ah, come to New York, man. We, you know, we love you guys here. da 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 da, -da right? Well, Freddie Gibbs has been trolling a lot lately and trolls Jim Jones right back, but Jim Jones answers that troll. Uh, he's actually in Brooklyn with Mano in Fort Greene Projects, which, you know, I actually did videos there with Cormega before, because uh, uh, shout out to Fly Ty. He was the guy out there back in the day, and unfortunately, he was taken. Uh, the cops took his life, but uh, he was a good guy, man. He, he, he ran that area, and... Uh, so I know that area pretty well. It's pretty notorious. It's really Walt Whitman Projects. It's not Fort Greene Projects. It's Walt Whitman. But it's that area over there. And so, you know, he's feeling tough. You know, like, so uh, they're in there. And, of course, he does a video and responds to uh, Freddie Gibbs. Uh, just letting him know, like, it could go down. <laughs> Fuck they talk about. We outside, outside. Stop playing with me. Stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. You heard me? You come to this city playing with us, boy. I'm going to tell you a whole nother story. <laughs> Where we at? So, yeah, they were out there. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, he was letting people know he's out in Fort Great Projects. Now, is anything going to happen? No. It's what, if, when Freddie Gibbs goes to New York, was he going to be in Manhattan? Okay. Uh, you, are you going to pull up at a show? Probably not. But it makes for good internet. But honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Eh, getting a little old to be doing all this. Like, this is like some 20s, maybe early 30s type of stuff. This is getting a little corny and out of hand. I'm going to be honest. Now, supposedly, Jim Jones served... Uh, you know, Freddie Gibbs, a fresh steak to the face out in Miami, uh, open, you know, open face steak. But uh, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, people love it when I say tenderized and right there at the table. But, uh, you know, it's just there's no footage of that. I'm, I'm, I, this is what I'm assuming happened. They ran into each other. He pressed him a little bit. That's about it. Nothing probably actually happened. You know what I mean? Um Next up, but here's somebody who did get served, an Ellie Chopper. Now, NBA young boy dissed King Von in a song last week. Little Reese said, "You know this ain't uh, this ain't on you know Grim Reaper time or whatever or what do they call it Demon time because he didn't do nothing. It was uh, Quando Rondo's brother that did something, right?" So he was saying, like, don't take credit for something you didn't do. And Ellie Chopper co-signed that because he was riding with Dirk and them. Well, NBA Young Boys fans don't play like that. They ran up on Ellie Chopper. It looks like in the airport or they're at, what was it, Battle Rap Radio? Was that some, uh, some basketball game, I think? They, they, they got the drop from Ellie Chopper to verify the outfit right they ran up on him and and they uh i don't think they knocked him out but they definitely uh touched him and it's this guy and he's then he's calling up people talking about yeah i just got him man da, 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 da. this is one of nba young boys die hard fans i don't know man i'm gonna be honest with you uh why what, because he, he voiced his opinion on something that fans going to run down on him to defend him be a young boy? Like, that's corny, man. And that Lee Chapa wasn't going to about to... But he's walking, obviously, by himself, right? Because he's living a different kind of life now. He's pretty much just peaceful. Put his... Well, he didn't go at anybody. He just said, hey, I agree with what little Reese said. And it's corny that someone ran down on him and just put hands on him for no reason you know there is no reason to put hands on him so even though it's going viral on the internet it's corny let's be honest you know uh this whole thing is a little bit corny too i mean you know freddie gibbs was talking a little bit spicy about jim jones but years later he's reacting to it 
that's a little bit weird my, you know i gotta say too but anyways that's what i feel about the situation what do you feel about the situation get in the comments below i appreciate you guys make sure you resubscribe redo the notifications they're acting a little funny lately and sometimes you got to refresh them if you're not getting the videos right away okay um i hope you guys are having a good day it seems like the the year's starting to pick up now the first two weeks are always like eh you know it's starting to pick up a little bit and as the year goes on it'll get better but uh you know spooky a little bit spooky out here this is jordan tower with jt news make sure you smash that like button smash that subscribe button i'll check you guys in the next one peace